Hello and welcome to my 100% playthrough of the Plutonia Experiment. This is map 17 compound, and as you can see, we've got 73 monsters and two secrets. Let's run in here and raise the floodwaters, that allows us inside. Strafe to the back here, past everything, just to get them moving towards us so we can run in here and grab some stuff. Now we've got the radiation suit and the super shotgun, so let's take them down. We've got some spectres, and we've got some uh, chain gunners. Don't keep line of sight with the chain gunners for too long or you're going to get really heavily punished. So just take, we've got some more up here, just take them out. Last one, good. This tunnel leads to another section. We can lower that tunnel by flipping that switch, but we'll get to that another time. For now, just run through here. Don't know if you heard the Hell Knight there, but we need to deal with the Hell Knight next. grab all the rockets, take down the shotgunners. I'm going to move back to single shotgun here because we don't have a lot of ammo with this. So just work my way around and take stuff out as you go. That's better. Okay, let's spawn this little trap which is a bit miserable. Get out. It's standard Plutonia style where <laughs> you get a, a hell nice teleporting behind you and it's shooting the minute it teleports. Okay, let's keep moving. Gonna grab the red key, open up a pane of mess with the monkey bite. The whole lot. I'm gonna keep moving. Got a bit hung up. Got a bit too hung up with that. I'm gonna get some health in here, so hopefully I'll survive. There we go. Mismatched texture. Let's go in here, grab the rad suit. Really, really nice first secret. Because we get loads and loads of boxes of rockets. Which is always nice. Let's get those. Another caco over here protecting some health files, which might actually be quite useful for me right now. So let's pick up all that stuff. Let's deal with the caco. That's why not. Okay, let's keep moving. So back out the way we came. So that switch we uh, hit earlier to lower our tunnel. We can now use that. So when we get to here, we can actually run in here for our second and final secret. And now we've got some spectres to deal with in here, so let's take them down. Come on, hold still for a minute. We can run in here. Let's get rid of all the barrels because we want to run down through from the top to the bottom of all those to get the yellow key. Some infighting there, so now's a good time to get moving. Let's just take stuff here as we go. Don't want to hang out in front of stuff for too long. Okay, getting a bit low on um, shells, so we're just going to switch over to the chip up. Let's kill stuff in here. We can spawn in the next trap in here as well. There we go. Okay. Let's take that one out. Let's spawn the next trap. Get back out. We're going to get an arch file in here, so we need to be a little bit careful. I, we've got loads and loads of rockets, so I'm going to spam loads of rockets down here. We've got a barn as well. Not too worried about my uh, ammo. Come yeah, on. There's our barn. I think that's everything. Flip the switch. Something woke up. There we go. Flip that switch and we can go and get the yellow key. There we go. That was a nice little run. I've been practicing my strafing quite a lot. Now that we have the yellow key, we can flip the yellow switch, which is this one here. And we flip this one. We can use this little teleporter to get back a bit more quickly. That teleports us into the central area, so we can pick up all that stuff. If we want that um, soul sphere, we can blow up the barrels and run in here. And you can just run back out again. Okay. Uh, dropped in here. Let's just get back out of that. We can run in now for the end area. So we've got all the kills and all the secrets. This is just true here. This is revealed by that last switch and we can finish. This one's been a lot of fun. Again, you know, breather type map. I, I quite like that. I've had a couple of grindy maps in a row that were fairly heavy to get through. This isn't one of them. This is fairly straightforward to do. Um, I, I love this sort of map where I can kind of play around with my movement a little bit just to see if I'm improving or not. And there's nothing too challenging in this, but kind of bouncing in and out, you're breaking line of sight, which hit scan is, um, you know, 
it's a good way to practice on this one particularly i'm relying fairly heavily on super shotgun so the reload time is quite long but i've enjoyed kind of bouncing around this one and playing with it picking up the yellow key for me was loads and loads of fun as well and uh, lots of interesting mechanics around getting to the different areas you know running across ledges and platforming and stuff so i've enjoyed this one hope you guys have too and i'll see you in the next one